Let's get it poppin', baby. Let's get it poppin', baby. Let's get it poppin', baby. Queens. Queens. Hey, yo, Fendi, this the jump off right here. So, what you're trying to say is that you fell here, from another world? But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Outlanders, your journey ends here. <laughs> You, the sustainer of heavenly principles, the irrigation of mankind ends now. Just like that, the god took away my brother. Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. So whilst we used to cross world after world, we are now trapped here. How many years ago was it? I don't know. But I intend to find out. After I awoke, I was all alone. Right up until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. We should head off. Let's get going. Uh, 
Depletes stamina and depleted stamina takes time to recover. Okay, let's take the route we planned. We're off to a statue of the seven. Which of the seven are you looking for exactly?
statue of the seven. There are a few of these statues scattered across the land to show the seven's protection over the world. Among the seven gods, this god controls the wind. Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god, but... Paimon will take you to the animal god's place first, and there's a reason why. As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your brother. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it. Answer from this world? Did you just feel the elements of the world? Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of animal! As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. It's a bit rude to say that about the power the gods just gave you. If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the City of Freedom! Mondstadt is the City of Wind because they worship the God of Animo. So perhaps, because you got power from the God of Animo, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your brother. Let's move then! The elements in this world responded to your prayers and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. Thank <laughs> you. 
These are the animal powers you got from the Statue of the Seven! Oh, Paimon's so jealous. Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting powers? Blade. Ha! Wind blade. Drop. Starfall. Drop. Starfall. Ha! Starfall. <laughs> Thank you. 
Is this an answer from this world? I'll keep this close. Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> Who's there? with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. Yeah, Paimon gets why you're worried. Oh, what's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's go take a closer look. Be careful, Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. never seen a stone like this before, so P all Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. 
Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. Well, we're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And this mascot. What's the deal with it? Hey! That's even worse than being a mascot! So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake! Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? Suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? She got separated from her brother during a really, really long journey. Paimon is her travel buddy, helping her to find her brother. Oh, looking for your family? Huh. Uh... Okay, let me finish my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. What exactly is it you need to finish doing first? It's simple. You'll understand in a bit. Opening a chest is like unwrapping a gift. to the city recently. My task this time is to clear out their camp.
a little with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trills ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camp so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helped make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Another target tracked down by Outrider Amber. Just 
standing around. Introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine, as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy, Sticky Honey Roast. Sticky Honey Roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. <laughs> 